Hey guys, it's your girl Pink Giratina, and I'm back with some more Splatoon news and updates here on the channel. So today, the Nintendo Versus account, which is pretty much the Nintendo competitive account for Splatoon 3, Smash Bros, and any other games that they have actual competitive tournaments for, recently made a statement regarding the jackpot situation. So if you guys can recall, about last month in June, there was a issue, a situation that uh, came out regarding the Splatoon 3 world champions, recent world champions, Team Jackpot, in which they were outed for engaging in racist slash bigoted behavior and a bit of homophobia slash transphobia um, while playing the game, and while on Discord um, chats, chatting on Discord, they've been saying um, some things that are quite, um, you know, mean, rude, and just um, derogatory as a whole, essentially. So after that came to light, a lot of people denounced their actions. Um, you know, it also felt bad for people in the community that are minorities, black people, such as myself. We all felt the type of way about that. So uh, a month later, um, we're now hearing from Nintendo themselves on the Nintendo Versus page. They uh, made a statement that reads as follows. It has come to our attention that certain members of Team Jackpot, the team that recently won the Splatoon 3 World Championship, acted in a manner that is not in line with our community guidelines while playing the Splatoon 3 game. As a result, Team Jackpot's win will be considered vacated and the team will not receive trophies associated with the event. Additionally, the in-game splash tag banner commemorating their win will be adjusted via an upcoming software update. Nintendo cares deeply about their, about our players and our community, and we take our responsibility to uphold our community guidelines seriously. So they came up with that earlier today. Um, so essentially, <clears throat> so essentially, uh, they are taking back, vacating their win. So. They lost their first place um, now to, due to a technicality, being that they went against the community guidelines for uh, the Nintendo competitive community guidelines. So now because of that, because they broke um, some of the rules with that, they've lost their first place right, their trophies and all the, all the rewards from winning it essentially i personally was very kind of shocked to see this because i honestly did not think that nintendo uh would have come out came out with a statement or really have done anything but they did come out they did do their own investigation because once again this information about them breaking the community guidelines was exposed or announced to the public released to the public um back in June. We are currently in the middle of July, so they took their time and did an internal investigation and found that the evidence of what we saw back in June is credible and is against the community guidelines, so they took action. And I would like to applaud Nintendo on this because this is a big issue because you don't want to make certain people or certain of people really feel uncomfortable in the community that they're in because a lot of people play Splatoon and Splatoon is for everybody. You don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable playing the game or participating in the game activities or in game events or in real life events, you know? So I applaud them for that. And this just further proves that what they did was completely unacceptable because when all this first came out and I made a video on it. There was a lot of people, even when I made tweets up regarding the incident, denouncing their behavior, people keep coming up and saying, they're just kids. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, et cetera, et cetera. Keep downplaying what they did. Okay. I get that. Oh, I get that. They're trying to be funny, but it's not right. At the end of the day, it is not right. And you have to be held accountable when you do things, you always have a cause which is what you do and the effect of what you do and because of what they did regardless if if they were under 18 or not they have to live with the consequences and one of the consequences of playing stupid games and being rude and being disrespectful and being mean to people uh just because it's fun and edgy is you get situations like this is this is your reward you're gonna lose your accolades your accolades will be stripped from you and you have to act accordingly. So this, this one is for all the people that try to give them a pass because they're children. Nintendo's not giving them any passes because they're children. They're going to uphold their community guidelines to the highest degree and even still 
The content that they're really focusing on is the footage of the teammates, um, the ones in particular that were saying the homophobic and bigoted remarks while competing in a Splatoon 3 tournament recently. Those are the, that situation in particular, because they specified while playing Splatoon 3, they broke the community guidelines. So that offense is the biggest offense that they're taking seriously. And because of that, in, well, I was it in particular, but that's the biggest um, infraction. And because of that, they're going to lose it. So I hope they take this as a, as a learning experience to know that whatever you do or put on social media, because Discord is indeed a social media platform, it, it could come back. So you have to watch what you say and be respectful of other people. Even if people are trying to be edgy and funny and you want to join them, always remember how it can impact you in the future. So with that being said, kudos Nintendo. Thank you so much for doing something and trying to protect those in the community and make them feel comfortable. We appreciate that. And we see, we see you doing something because I didn't think Nintendo would really come out with any statements because when the Smash stuff was going on, they didn't really make any public statements. They just, they just did things in the back end. But for this situation, it was good of them to um, speak out against it. So with that being said, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this. If you think the ruling was justified or, well, I, I don't even want to hear it if you guys said it went too far because I feel like they did well enough to just strip them of their um, accolades. And to just keep it going and call it a day. So with that, thank you guys for watching. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.